Hi, I'm Lena. Hi, I'm Asina at Omaha Central. Old school. This is called On Loving Myself, an Addict. It is not hard to love an addict. It is no more difficult to love an addict than anyone else. It is no worse to watch a loved one fight an addiction than rather to have one. It is too easy to get addicted to something, but it is not hard to love someone with an addiction. My addiction is an abusive ex-girlfriend lying on the couch when I get home. She sometimes pops up unannounced at work, at the grocery store, picking up my mother's medication at my niece's first dance recital. She does not know the definition of unrequited. She does know the bottom of the absinthe and vodka bottles and the shot glasses and the bare bones wallet too well, not good enough, never good. Never good enough, this is why she keeps at it. Keeps showing out without invitation. She shows up at work with a dozen roses and at home with a bag of white. My sister asks me, what's in the bag? Is it snow? The question reminds me that she has been there since the beginning. The addiction has, since my first dealer drew the lines of white on the mirror for me, since my first high school dance where I learned how to let the flame waltz between my fingertips. She has always been there. It was never hard to love her. That was never the issue. I didn't really love her, you know. I loved the rush of adrenaline on my already racing heartbeat. Do you remember how bad it got? There was a constant tag team version of this game of I can't quit today, can you? We had the too many occasions of, okay, this is the last one, the last time, I promise. But there were so many last times that I lost count and I knew it was never the last time until the actual last time showed up. How was I supposed to say goodbye to my only constant? It is not hard to love an addict no more so than any other person you may know. It is harder to suffer from and recover from an addiction. But I promise you, it is not hard to love me.